Hi, this is Andrea, and this is episode 11 of my zombie RV. Today I wanted to talk about some of the painting process that went into painting the RV. I have finished that part. We haven't finished the RV. We're far from it. But uh, here are some of the things that I used. Um, first, before painting, you have to prep, and that means cleaning. Uh, I used TSP and bleach and water, a very strong solution because we had a lot of tobacco staining on our walls. It cleaned it right up, but it's very, very strong. You have to have a lot of air. Um, after that, you rinse that with water and clean that all off and scrub it real good. And then you sand. Don't over sand. Lesson learned. Just this light scuffing of the surfaces uh, will be fine. Remember, you're not sanding wood. You're sanding a... Uh, a vinyl contact paper that's stuck to Lou on. Uh, so it's a very, very light sanding process. Uh, and then you want to wipe it all down with water, get all that dust off again. <clears throat> and then you start painting. I use Sherman Williams Extreme Bond because that was the best product for us. Now it's very expensive, but if you, $60 a can, I use two and two cans but I have quite a bit of it left over. Uh, I did paint the inside and outside of my um, my cabinets and I just used one, just used this. So I'm actually gonna use some of this to kind of seal some of the floors before I put my flooring down, just as a little protection. Um, and that way I'll use it up and I won't waste any because I don't have any reason to use that again. So I won't waste it. Everything did stick wonderful to it. Um, then I use the Sherman Williams All Surface Enamel. These are all water based. Uh, for my wall cabinetry and everything, uh, walls, I used extra white. And for my back wall and my, and my bathroom, I used a color called Watery. It's sort of a seagrass green, which I really love. It's my new favorite color. And for my cabinets in my kitchen, I used a color called Urban Bronze. Uh, all the all I needed to paint was my old pretty paintbrush, which you can see has seen many better days. And I'll tell you, I have always had a little bucket of my TSP and um, bleach water around because I was always using it for other surfaces. And you just swirl these around; it will take all the paint off, everything. Uh, clean your brush is just wonderful. So I just would always keep a little small short bucket of that somewhere where I could put my paint brushes in and clean them and that was really really helpful. It's trash day here! Yay! Uh, and my, my one dog was barking like crazy so she's in the car. She's barking at the trash man. Alright and this was the other thing. Um, get you one of these. As you can see I wore mine out uh, they're about five dollars these Wooster shortcuts uh, wonderful for getting inside those cabinets this one is worn out as far as painting but it makes the best little brush to like get out the seams in the in the um, in the um, window area window wells where stuff falls in and I'm very very pleased with that so these are the things that I put on my walls remember when you do your cabinets I took all my cabinets out uh, you have to prime both sides and you have to paint both sides two times. So that, that's very time consuming. I tried using a, a sprayer, but unfortunately my air compressor, um, it was so slow. I had to wait so long. It was really just easier to paint. Uh, but you have to do both sides and, you know, and you have little drips, lots of little drips and you have to, uh, Oh, yes, you also have to sand your, your wooden cabinetry, so that takes some time, and then clean them off. Uh, I would, but with this primer, it worked really well. Um, so those were my main paints uh, that I used. Uh, then what I found out was that everything in the RV was just, you touch things in the RV all the time. You, you know, you steady yourself, you pull yourself up. So you touch your walls a lot more than you do in your house. And we were leaving fingerprints everywhere. And I stumbled on this Verithane polyurethane unique soft touch finish and a mat. And painted that on my cabinets, boom no finger marks. I it could not even be happier with that. Um, it's usually about $10. You can see Home Depot has decided not to sell the unique soft touch anymore, which because it probably because it worked. 
and uh, they had it on the the sale rack um, I really didn't need another quart but I think now that I have it I'm going to actually um, put on a couple of walls that tend to get fingerprints like around the dining room table and the um, uh, kitchen walls on the walls um, maybe even in the bathroom since I have an extra quart of it um, for all of the white things that I had like the um, the vents and things that were all yellowed and dirty looking I used this blossom white and bam they look brand new brand new looking they look like they just came out of the factory maybe even a little bit better and for whatever reason it was the same color as my extra white which is what I used on the walls um, for my my hardware there's my dog Georgie looking adorable um, I use a, a mixture of flat iron uh, flat soft iron and oil, oil rub bronze I put this on first and then sprayed it gently with that I wouldn't recommend doing that mixing because in the end it would have been a lot easier for touch-ups and things you could really see it if I touched it up just pick one and be happy with it um, the headers which are the the um, the padded things around the door, the front door, and over the passenger seat? I didn't cover them with fabric because I couldn't get some of them off the wall physically. Couldn't get them off, so I painted them in the same process. But for whatever reason, that vinyl just stayed sticky. It would never ever be not sticky, and even with the polyurethane and everything. So I had some of this, and I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. What have I got to lose? And I used lacquer on it. Bam, no sticky. I don't know why some weird chemical thing with the vinyl but that's how it went so these are my products and before my memory is used up I'll say goodbye from uh, my zombie RV I hope some of these ideas helped um, we'll see you on the next one